yes welcome to the next summit video tutorial um, for today's episode your gateway laptop so this is a lot model which are gonna disassemble for now I already have already removed the battery and also remove the hard drive cover right here so I'm gonna remove the hard drive so this is the hard drive it was move it to the left there and memories so this one comes with two sticks CD drive CD or DVD drive I need to go ahead and remove all these screws. Now whenever you are removing the screws, just to ensure that you don't miss a screw, it is best to actually start one side and go right around, rather than just removing some from here and some from the other side. So I'm just disconnecting the Wi-Fi adapter cable as a pass over that side. <coughs> now just double checking if I remove all the screws now with these the side of the battery there. These are what actually secure the panel above the keyboard. Double checking that I remove all the screws. <coughs> right, so I'm gonna turn it over. So the next step is to get the keyboard out. Alright, so now I'm going to remove the keyboard from this gateway NV55C laptop and I've already removed the screws from the bottom of the laptop so now it is now time to remove the keyboard now at the front, at the, above the keyboard there here there are some small pins uh, you have to get something flat fly it uh, you have to get something flat fly those pins so that number one two Three, four, this one you have to be careful not to damage the keys. Now I've removed those at the top there. Now at the side here, there are also pins that secure the keyboard right. so once you have done that then you lift the keyboard upwards and pull it towards the screen next thing now is to remove the clip here that secure the ribbon onto the motherboard You just simply need to pull it towards you and then you carefully pull the ribbon out you don't want to tear it right so this is how you actually remove the keyboard from your gateway nv55c laptop now in terms of moving or removing this top 
cover here that cover the motherboard you have to first get rid of these screws so I'm gonna unscrew all of these screws Now once all the screws are removed, you now need to <coughs> disconnect all the cables that you are seeing. This one here is the mouse or the touchpad that is disconnected. Uh, this one here is the DVD drive. So I'm going to go ahead and disconnect it also. So it's disconnected. Up here. This one here is one of the one of two speaker connector. This is the second speaker connector. And of course this is what connect your screen. that is removed and to this side this is what connect your power button to your motherboard <coughs> right so I've done all of this connection now it is now time to get rid of this cover here now in order to get rid of it without damaging it you have to ensure that you have something flat like this to actually move it right around you don't want to strain any of the clip so it goes right around it and I've pulled this laptop before so it's a bit much easier than normal <coughs> right so remove the top cover and this is your motherboard <coughs> of course <coughs> now what I will be doing today with this um, laptop I just simply need to change the thermal compound and the CPU alright the next step now is to remove the motherboard here because the CPU is located under or on the next side of the motherboard so the next thing now is to remove all the screws that actually connect or secure the motherboard to the bottom section of the housing of this laptop now just double checking that all the cables are removed um, this last one here that actually connect the main the motherboard to these two USB port there so they are removed so the next thing is to get the motherboard out. I'm just gonna check for the screws. So removing the fan that pulls the processor after unscrew it. Next screw right there. Alright, so last cable at the back 
is of course the cable, the power, the scale here which, it, which connect your motherboard to the main power supply in terms of your charger. So I'm going to get rid of it. So here it is removed. So now I have the motherboard out. So I'm gonna work on the motherboard in terms of changing the thermal compound and the processor. 